everybody, my name's Chris, and welcome back to more Let's Play Firewatch. Last episode, we got knocked the fool out, and I'm convinced that some horrible happened to my play. Hey, it doesn't happen. To be honest, I didn't actually think anything would be wrong here. I just kind of wanted to. Whoa, clipboard. Not anything. Oh my god, it's a picture of the sunset. It's beautiful. Oh, my window's open. Oh, my window's open. Hello, toilet paper. I'm not gonna actually pick that up. <laughs> okay, that's nothing. Oh, that was on the freaking freaking floor before. God, oh. Interesting. Oh my god. Okay, I didn't mean to actually do that. That's not. Why? Can I put back? No. There we go. Good. Wonderful. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's oh, a stage I see. where all we can do is pay attention to it. Look at me! They're not going to try to put it out? Not oh. yet, apparently. Well, let forest fires burn. It's part of the natural thing, way of things. How new trees are going to be able to grow. It's actually more healthy to let most fire... Fires burn. Natural fires, anyways. I think man-made fires are always a uh, priority to be put out, but um, if it's natural, like from lightning or something, then they let it go. Uh, that being said, sometimes we start fires to clear out areas. It's actually very strange to me, to be honest, because it's like... Okay, I'm going the right way, it seems. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, uh, I forget. Very strange that we start fires because... I don't know. <laughs> Crap, I forgot what I was going to say there. Oh, man, maybe I have Dementia. Look, what's her face? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, what a very inconspicuous bridge of rocks. Kind of looks supernatural. Definitely not a way to progress the plot or anything. Oh. Okay. You know what? Because we can actually run across this, now I want to jump across. See what happens. Whoop. This kind of reminds me of, uh... Who jumps like that? Someone makes a noise when they jump like that. I don't remember who it is, though. Alright, let's open her up. Open it up. One. Two. Ah, ah, ah. Three. Ah, ah. Four. What? What? Copy info. I am copying that info. Another note. Uh. Oh. No. No. Where'd it go? What? Oh, there it is. Jeez. Let's see. Um, Ron, really wish the powers that could issue us radios didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job, so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through this bottle of thieves instead. Miss you, Dave. Let's keep one of these. I've been keeping. Have, oh. Why haven't I been keeping these, man? One chance to die. Old toilet papers, I always said. Ew. Let's see. Oh, I see. Terminal 7. Chance to die. Can of food. Bam. Whoop. Alright, guess we're done here. What What does thy map say now? Alright, so it looks like we want to go south. Then we'll head... Oh, there's another cache over there. Hmm, crap. Which, which way am I going to want to go, then? 
Because if we go to the scout camp, that might advance the plot. But maybe we should try to go to the scout camp because there might be something blocking my way. Which would cause me to go to cache AO8, which would then actually continue the plot. Crap. Alright, I guess we'll try going west. Yeah, I guess we'll go west. Alright. Oh, here's the burn line they're talking about. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't have so before? close to a body Dang. of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. <laughs> Let's see. The Ooh, I didn't start a timer. Is southeast of the river. Crap. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Huh? <laughs> fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. <gasps> is this a meadow? Is it like a meadow place? Is that what this is? Oh, what's all that? Who put crosses on my map? Not cross, but cross stuff out. So I want to head west then. Yeah, yeah, try heading west first. See what happens. If I see something that looks like I might advance the plot, I'll probably turn around. Right. Always looking for hidden stuff. I've yet to see any hidden stuff in this game, really. <laughs> There's not going to be like a single deer or anything in this game. Whoa! That's a cool looking tree. Better have something to say about this cool looking tree. No? Wow! Well, I guess I don't know what I'd say. Wow! I found a tree! A tree? Really? You don't say. Please tell me more about the tree. Okay. Find fire There's no Okay. Pass control burn. Okay, so great. That means that we actually. It is actually going to force me to try and go to the scout camp first, it, it appears. Alright. Continue running along at the speed of sound. I like how this game was like, it was very clever. But it's all, alright, find bear tracks, just kidding, you're getting punched in the head. And wow, I'm down to like 10 frames a second again. Oh, I'm so, there's nothing I can do. It's, very annoying, it makes me sad. Ah, interesting. I was wondering if it's gonna let me walk across this or not. I guess I could turn off the music if I really wanted to, but eh. This is how the producers of the game want me to experience it. I don't know. So I just have to listen to it. Just have to deal. It seems very corner of the worldy. Okay, I was almost expecting to find a body here. <laughs> Dead body. All right. I know there's a cache area out here somewhere. I don't think I'm gonna be able to walk up that. The last cache in the game, actually, if I'm correct. It's, uh, where is it? All right, right across the river here. I'm almost wondering if this is. This might be option. I think I saw it. <gasps> Look at this red tree. Just kidding. 308. I wonder if we're gonna end up in that uh that cave we saw at the beginning of the game at some point. Maybe I'll be freaking trapped. It's been a secret base of operation since the beginning of the game. Just one straight match, protect the forest. <clears throat> That's a very dirty looking map. Hmm. This looks like three blind rats. Sounds delicious, and I'm kind of disappointed there is no story here. So what, that story just never ends? Right, let's close it up, I guess. A pretty looking tree. Alright, time to go to the scout camp. Man, I have no idea what I'm doing for time for this episode now. My timer says four minutes, but uh, very clearly... What is that? Very clearly I've been playing for longer than that. What is that? I have nothing to say about this. Yeah, I just found a ski in the middle of this forest. What the hell? 
Maybe I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Maybe I shouldn't be here yet after all. A ski. I should have been more careful of that. For all I know, that could have been a trap. Creepy person that's been listening to our conversations might have been like, yeah, place a ski here. I'll go up there and investigate it. Wham! Right in the kisser. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> Another weird thing. What is this? Wrecked snowmobile. There's some old snowmobiles out here. Wow, these are pretty old, actually. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. Yeah. That was not a fun Crash hike back tree. to civilization. There's another one. Pond. Uh, there's an old pond out here. Not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Pork Pond? That's dumb. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. She stole it! You're the perpetrator! You've been stealing the signs over and over again. You're just have a freaking lineup. You're just gonna sell that crap on eBay for some reason. Oh, oh, that's a shadow of a tree. Derp, derp, derp. Why is why? Why is there a fence here? Why? <laughs> oh, I see. It's supposed to. Eh, I gotcha. Front entrances are for losers. Ah, uh, here's where you get the woodcutting axe. Look, you can see that tree right there with the woodcutting marks on it. So this place, there's no way there could be people here, right? I feel like that'd be very weird to see people at this point in the game, at this point, right? Camp... Uh, Arapaho? Camp Arapaho. Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. Uh, what a big surprise. Organizing boys around their ideals. Or is that right with me? Oh, it's a scout camp. In large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. Oh, Stappers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. You take the high ground and I'll take the low... low frame count... ground. <laughs> oh boy, uh, okay, let's, let's see here. Well, I see my way back. This dang... gosh dang dang tree. Can I jump here? Nope. When is there ever gonna be like another cutscene in this game? I guess there never really was one. There was just text on the screen. There's another one. Up here, perhaps? Nope. No. The ravine. How the heck am I gonna get down there? Put that gosh dang map away, son! Um. Uh, right over here? I don't know. Let's walk along the edge here. Maybe I'll get a random jump down option or some crap. Surprise, there is nothing. Ravine. There's a lot of spots you can just walk across, but okay. Yeah, okay. Aha! There we go. Sneaky, sneaky. Dead bodies! Oh wow, go again? I don't want to go down that far. No, nothing. No, nothing interesting to see. Choppa, choppa, choppa. So I thought there's even. Well, I guess I had to put those there because otherwise you'd forget. Like, you wouldn't think they were important. So you wouldn't, like, you know, remember to kind of tuck that in the back of your mind. I definitely feel like, uh. Well, I can't cross here. Definitely feel like they're, um. 
should have been a wood cutting axe at my station to be fair because that seems to being able to get get firewood sounds like a pretty important thing <laughs> where's the, what i'm gonna go this way there we go it's not letting me go this way hello weird it's like a border an invisible wall okay that was strange Talk to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, oh, snap! If forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy oh. hobbies. Um, what type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics. Model rockets, wizards, and wyverns, you know. <laughs> oh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The oh what? my god, I don't know what that means. <laughs> hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe uh, you. We're good. Eh. We're good. Alright. Let's get our wood cutting axe. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Good God! This is a hobo shelter. They ain't no scout. Oh, never mind. Bear trap. Interesting. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are still uh, prey. That's messed up. What's this one say? No, oh, never mind. Uh, examine. Special bulletin, Mitch Michaels, there we go, there he is again. Uh-huh, Jonesy Lake, hey, interesting, it's almost like that's where we were before. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. that's my sheet, what's that? Ten to one. Oh, it's a book. Oh, that's kind of... Seeing that art, and, uh... So, you know, that's kind of in good condition um, in relation to the rest of this place. A little bit creepy. Good guy, yeah, no one's been out here in freaking forever. No, there's no way they would let kids sleep in that. Weird, why is there an invisible wall here? I don't feel like that's, that's got to be a glitch or something. This firewood, that, that was a recent fire, it looks like. Considering uh, there's still ashes. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting oh, picked up. Oh, duh. Because, yeah, firefighters were here. Well, oh, very surprising. There we go. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks oh, like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Yeah. Take that axe. Wow, I had no issues with that. <clears throat> what, what? Anything else interesting over here? There's a secret, secret, secret path. Please, nothing. <laughs> Here's where the look see, though. Oh, cool. There's a little. Well, I don't know what this is actually. A little stage kind of thing. What? what? Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Hmm. That uh, note. Next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf Oops, of... Oops, sorry. I put my mic. Wapiti uh -huh. Station. <gasps> Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station. Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there. Let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Oh, 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 my god, my freaking microphone! Horned toads. I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Oh, what? You no, know, probably just horned toads. Oh, there we go. Maybe Turt was an escapee. <laughs> a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. Yeah. So freaking things. out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider <gasps> that this board. maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut 
says that there's something bad going on. What the hell is this? Okay. Psych pull? So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. All right, squad boss Grand Carson, Wyoming inter interagency hotshot crew. Interesting. Uh, Ranger District, Grable, Wyoming. Doctor Simmons at Lopity Station, Thoroughfare Region. Doctor Simmons, hey. Squad boss Carson. In the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the Thoroughfare Region of Shoshone, Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. Running on behalf of Dr. Ben Simons, Wapiti Station, he reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns. As we search, say, upon your return, someone will from his office will want to speak with you as part of the wildlife risk assessment of the region. I told them they have nothing to worry about, that your team's fire lines are the most potent preservative measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks for always your service, Rich Slusarensky, Assistant Superintendent. Ugh! What? Okay, I didn't throw that paper very far. What is it? Oh, I guess there's a flagpole. Yeah, that's where they wrap the, the string around. I guess everyone just stands around. You can load this. There'd have to be a lot of scouts for that to be a thing. Ah, look at that. Boom! Oh my god! <laughs> Get out of here, you thorn bushes! You never stood a chance! I'm sure there's like multiple of these shoes, weren't there? Choppity choppity! Boom shackle wackles. Alright. I'm not very armed. Oh my god, look at <laughs> those branches are like no <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Hop over? Oh I see. Oh that's cool. Dang girl! Alright! Well, looks like we're in the final stretch of the game, you guys. Um let's go back to our base. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, okay, let's go to the west and go north, I guess. Are you there? Uh, I, I had a thought. Yes? Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, uh -huh. so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. Who is this? <laughs> what? Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? What the hell is this? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Oh no! I can't pause it! I thought it was already day 77. I thought that, that looks like a very familiar... Ah, oh, dang it! I wish I could pause right now. Like, it's not let me pause. Power, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Mm -hmm. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Gee. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Um... Uh... I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sun up. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day this Okay, day she's been. obviously... There's Maybe someone there. I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. Okay, you idiots. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? It's just protocol You're an idiot. to stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, You're an idiot. etc. You are an uh, idiot. Uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. All right. 
Well, things are heating up. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. In the next one, we'll figure out what the hell's going on and Henry's an idiot. Bye!